Hey everyone, Nittany Line Roar here, and I have a different kind of video for you today. I thought you might be interested in seeing my streaming setup, and then I'm gonna do an unboxing video of a new monitor that I'm excited to use. So, first, let me show you what I've got going on here. This is where I do my streaming. A um, uh, sort of side hobby of mine has been to build my own computer and I'm uh, into uh, computer parts and things like that. And so that's what I've got going on here. I've been doing a dual monitor setup because that's just easy for streaming. And I've got my <laughs> lights up there, of course, so that you can see my face whenever I'm streaming. Um, and uh, so I put a lot of hard work into this, um, did custom lights and everything like that. I've got everything all synced up. Um, the lights on the keyboard and the mouse and in the computer actually all react to each other so that's kind of cool um, but uh, these are 1080p monitors and um, I decided I'm gonna upgrade one of them to 1440p the the one on the left there is an MSI optics 1080p I'm gonna uh, use that monitor as my secondary monitor. I'm gonna get rid of the one on the right, and my primary monitor is going to become this one here. The MSI Optics MAG27, and it's a CQR. So, uh, let's do this. I'm gonna pull it over here into the light a little bit, uh, so it's a little bit more visible for you. Now, the 1080p monitor that I have over there is also an MSI Optics, like I was saying, um, but this is like a newer version of it. This this monitor uh, is brand new here in 2020. It's been out for a little while. Um, it's a really good monitor for its price point of $400, um, but you can find a number of monitors that are pretty good quality around this price range. The reason I like this particular monitor and bought it is because it's 165 Hertz at 1440p. And I've been really impressed with the 1080p monitor I have from MSI Optics. Um, the color is very good. There's high contrast. So I thought I would get a matching monitor so the two monitors match each other. So as you can see back over here, the MSI Optics is a curved monitor but my other monitor over here is not. And this is only a 60 Hertz monitor. So basically you can think of Hertz as like frames per second. Um, and uh, 60 is a little bit behind the eight ball these days. So this is also 165 Hertz. It's gonna match the 1080p one, but it's gonna be a higher resolution at 1440p. Okay. I'm sure Basil the cat will come join and help unbox here. Right, Basil? Are you coming to help unbox? Okay, let's see what we've got here. All right, the first things to come out of the box, and I think there might be a cord under here too. Here we go. It looks like this is probably the display port cord. It is. So if you don't uh, happen to know, the display port is a lot like HDMI, but it actually handles the higher hertz, the 165 hertz. Um, it looks like here we have a USB cord. Uh, this is the power cord, and this is probably HDMI. So this is HDMI. Okay. And then here we have some screws. It looks like, and that's for wall mounting the monitor. Interesting. Okay. All right. Instructions. And I remember when I got the other monitor, the uh, 1080p curved monitor, you had to be like really, really careful with, with it. All right, so here's the stand. That feels like some pretty solid metal here. seems like a good quality piece of metal. So for those of you who are interested in a 1440p monitor, this, this particular one was attractive to me because it's really well balanced um, as far as like brightness and colors and contrasts and hertz and things like that. It's a VA monitor. There's different types of monitors. There's uh, also IPS and TN and that just has to do, you know, they all have their own um, 
strengths and weaknesses and things like that. Uh, but this is a VA monitor and it's kind of the best of uh, both worlds. Um, you know, a lot of people favor the IPS monitors. Uh, and um, I think, you know, my style of gaming tends to be like, I'm not like a super competitive, like professional gamer. So I don't need the ones with like the super high refresh rates or anything like that. I want a nice balance between beauty and speed. So here we have the uh, gaming monitor warranty card. With this. It's thick. And the quick start guide, which I don't think we need. All right, there we go. Look at that packaging, that is really good. Do you, do you see how inside here, um, they've got a nice like curve to the styrofoam, so that's good. And then over here, this looks like another part of the stand. Okay. All right, and this is part of the stand here. This is gonna go on the back and that's gonna hold the monitor up there. And then I guess we put the uh, metal piece that holds it up here that we had already looked at. All right, and there it is. Okay, and this is the Optics Mag series. Um, and we've got some of the uh, specs right there, like I was talking about, it's 165 hertz, one millisecond, which is really good for VA monitors. VA monitors are not known for that particular speed, but this is where MSI has really shined because they've been able to uh, make a monitor that's VA, which gives you, there's a lot of qualities that come with it, um, and they overcame one of the weaknesses, which is the speed isn't particularly high for it. Um, but this one actually has a one millisecond uh, speed, which is up there with a lot of the IPS monitors. That's what makes the IPS monitors good. Okay, so let's put this thing together. And interestingly, they've actually designed this box as a little workstation type of thing, a place to uh, safely put this together, which I think is kind of cool. So that just slides in right there. And then there are a couple of screws here as well. on and it just slides in there and oh, this is like one of the easier monitors to put together I think it's got this like built-in screw you just have to tighten there that looks good all right so I'm tight I'm gonna go with that all right all right now that we got the stand on we just have to pull it out and uh, whew, that's a heavy monitor, especially with one hand. Okay, so this is the back of the monitor and uh, it tilts so you can move it up and down um, and like you can adjust the height too. And that's pretty easy to move around and it stays put where it is, that's cool, that's easy. Um, don't have to mess around with that too much. And as you can see, this right here is uh, LED lights. Now you might ask, why are there LED lights on the back of the monitor? Because you don't typically see that, and you're definitely not going to see it in my setup. But uh, apparently what the LED lights do here is they backlight the wall. Um, so you can use MSI's software if you want to program uh, what the, what these lights are gonna do, and then they shine back on the wall to create an extra effect back there. So that's kind of cool. It's not a feature I necessarily need, but um, it's kind of cool that it comes with it. And then we've got this nice little MSI logo right here. Actually, it's kind of cool. They put some cool stuff on the back of their monitor, which is kind of interesting because 
you're not really gonna see this stuff all that much. And then down here, this is um, the navigation menu. So like the options for the monitor, you can change the contra contrast and brightness and the speed and things like that. Underneath here, is where all the ports are. Now this monitor is doing something that I, I really like and I wish more monitors did, which is it's hiding a lot of these things. So this monitor has a very clean look. Um, on this particular monitor, we have uh, two HDMIs there and one display port. There's a couple USB slots. There's a USB 3 slot, um, or USB-C I should say, um, which is kind of cool. Okay. And now, I'm gonna turn this around. This is what the front looks like, but um, you've already seen that from when I unboxed it. Now it's time to actually set it up. Okay, I got the new 1440p monitor set up, so let's take a look. All right, this is my new setup here that I've got going on. You can see I rearranged things just a little bit, and the new 1440p monitor is right here, the MSI Optics Mag. And then the old MSI 1080p monitor is over there. So that's gonna be my secondary monitor now. That's usually the one that I put like the streaming software on while I game on that one. Um, and you can see I've got a game up running right now. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit. This is what 1440p looks like, which is really cool. Let's see, let's see how close I can get to pixels and things. You know, a lot of you probably have 1440p monitors and everything, but this MSI optics is pretty cool because VA is not usually known for um, its uh, speed and it's got a one millisecond response time, which is really cool. So just like super quick. And in fact, let me turn on some of the data here that will show you what's going on with like the graphics here. So right now I've got 152 frames per second going which is just perfect because this is a 165 hertz monitor. So this is definitely taking advantage of that, which is really nice. And you can see here, I've got a sniper kind of deal going on. Um, the colors look very good. They're nice and uh, vibrant. I know I'm in kind of like a dreary map. You can see even the greens like stand out there. Check that out. The response time seems to be really good. Some people have complained of a little bit of ghosting with this particular monitor. I haven't really noticed it, but um, I'm sure that like really competitive gamers probably do notice that. Uh, and um, if we check the stats again, you can see I'm using like almost 100% of the graphics card, which I should. And um, you know, the CPU is only at like 13% there. You can see I have all my cores and threads over there. Uh, listed underneath that as well if you know uh, anything about computers. So um, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I like it. I think this is going to be perfect to game on and um, this is a little bit of a sneak preview because there is a game coming out next month that I'm super super excited for. I definitely plan to stream it and make videos about it. I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet but I got this monitor to get ready for that game going to upgrade a couple more parts and then I'll be ready to go when it releases. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I drop more videos.